So let's jump forward a few days. Um, I want to give you some perspective on what exactly we were dealing with here. So here's the boat. Here's the two sheds. It was parked between these two monster trees, this corner of the house, which is right here, and this hedgerow that runs along the southeastern perimeter of this guy's property. I had to get my truck in here, which was tight by itself back up to his boat. There was no way I could turn all the way around. Uh, so I pulled it forward and I jackknifed his boat, jackknifed his boat against this fence right here, dropped, dropped the truck, turned the truck around, pulled the truck back out, backed up to it, and then hooked up because that was the only way I could get a halfway decent angle of attack. Um, but then I still couldn't get out wide enough because of these bushes to clear this fence post. It's an eight foot gate opening and this is a seven foot wide trailer. Um, so that's why I put a strap on this tree here and drug it over, uh, which that was an ordeal in and of itself. I had to jack the trailer up off the wheels because the tires were about to bust their beads because it was there was not enough strength in the sidewall to slide on soft ground. So. I had to get the trailer in the air, come along it over, then f barely, I mean, I had less than an inch between the house and the tree. It was nuts. All right, this sucker was backed in and parked before oaks were trees. And uh, couldn't do a three-point turn in the backyard, so I backed the boat up there, unhooked, repositioned the truck, backed up to it again. But with that tree there, I just can't clear this fence post, so I've got to come along on the trailer, trying to get us squeezed over. He said the tree's free. Comes with the boat. Well, there she is. 1978, maybe. Invader. Oak series. Mossy oak. Oak. Oak and shield. Tires are probably not gonna make it home. Lights are busted. Motor looks complete. So, I guess we'll see what happens. We're ready for the road. Going down the road. really windy. Let's see if this helps. Put a sock over the end of this thing. I saw a YouTuber say that that works. Okay. Here she is. In all her glory. Found this on Facebook Marketplace. And the guy wanted a thousand bucks for it. I obviously would not pay a thousand bucks for this. Uh, ended up leaving. Uh, for 150 bucks so I was willing to spend on it what I felt like the trailer might be worth worst case scenario I'll take the boat and trailer it to the dump and yank it off so let me show you what we're working with Let's see if I can leave the sock on here this is weird okay so my helper I don't know if you can see him he said he'd help clean the boat for $10 an hour. He's over there swinging, playing with sticks. I see you over there. <laughs> he shrugged your shoulders. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, if I can get Flash over here to start cleaning, we're gonna get to the bottom of these trees, see what we got, see what we don't got. Um, right off the bat, I mean, I didn't, I didn't comb through this thing when I picked it up yesterday. I just hooked on and, and left because I was short on time so what I know I got is a complete boat um, the key was left in it all the gauges it hasn't been tampered with so it's not one of those project boats somebody had started and didn't finish it was on the water and then it looked like it was parked um, the reason I say that is just because everything is hooked up as if it was on the water the battery still in there connected um, the motor is 100% complete and they've even got this um, 
I I don't remember what they call these damn things. Sw swivelies, Sw swivelies. It's the thing to keep the motor up. So they had that in place. I mean, the drain plug is out, which I guess isn't uncommon. But so we are going to start cleaning it. I'm gonna pop the cover off the motor there, and we're gonna see what she looks like on the inside. Come over here, helper. I'm gonna need your help. All right, we're about to pull the bonnet off the old girl here. I got my helper back finally. We've got bets on whether it's gonna be crusty, dusty inside of here, or I beautiful and clean. I hope it's beautiful. I thought you said you was. I thought you said it was gonna be crusty and dusty. I hope it is. You or hope I, it's crusty and dusty. I hope it's not. But okay. I bet it is. I hope it's not too. But I saw some evidence, so it, it really looks like they drove this boat up on the banks a lot because the hole's a little scratched up and that pointy part. I guess they caught the skag or whatever is all scratched up. So I don't know how well they took care of this thing, but moment of truth. There might be a family of possums living in this thing. Oh my god, it's a million ants. You see all those nasty buggers? No. You don't see all those right there? Oh my god. It's Ant City in there. Ant City, baby. Let's check this out. I thought I got bit by an ant a second ago. They must be all over this thing. I know. There was an ant crawling up on my leg. I smacked it. Antville. I suppose that's not the worst thing we could have found in there. There's a bunch of larvae in there. Okay, so What's a larva? the oh. motor itself, I mean, it doesn't look good, but it doesn't look terrible either. Um, starter looks in good shape. The gears look okay. Solenoid. No corrosion on the posts. Uh, whatever that thing is. I have no idea what kind of motor this is other than this is Johnson 140 on it. So it appears to have four cylinders, judging by the four spark plugs. And it looks like it's got, does it have four carburetors yeah, or two? Two barrel carburetors. I can't tell. Um, the linkages, sorry, the linkages look to be in good shape, kind of, and lube, lubed up, sorta. Of. That one's got a washer that's a little bogus. Um, but it's a motor, so I'm gonna pull the spark plugs. Ow! I just got bit by another ant. God well, dang it, Gerald! them everywhere you, you're gonna make them mad so I'm gonna get rid of these ants somehow then I'm gonna pull the spark plugs I'm going to spray some some stuff in there Look, fogging oil in there. and then I'm gonna see if I can put it in gear and slowly turn that prop to see if we have if it's locked up or not so kill those ants we'll be back I left all right, so we decided to use the water hose to clean off the ants, but the whole thing needs hose down, so we're gonna do a little cleaning. That's definitely an anchor. We're gonna pull the trees out and the dirt out, and then we're gonna haul it up to the well, and we're gonna what start time? hosing her down. Yeah, I found this old fire extinguisher in there. Wonder if it's any good. What do you think? What? Oh, yeah. Good. You wanna try it? Yeah. Want it that way. So look. Nope. Pick it up. There you go. This is cool. Get burned, kid. That fire extinguisher is probably like 12 years old. Oh, God, it burns the eyes.
Okay, so Flash asked a good question. He said, are we replacing the interior? And I don't know if I mentioned the plans yet or not. We're gonna take this old school ski boat turn it into a bass boat, fishing boat. So we're gonna gun everything. We're gonna deck the front and back, put in some sweet captain swivel chairs, whatever. And then we'll have a fishing boat to go with our ski boat. Or we'll sell it, it depends how it goes. Check this out. This tree grew into oh, this cushion. Is like this the tree? The cushion is the tree. I may go plant this. Take a big old hole and put it just like that. That's what I was asking. This boat's name is Woody. There's some roots in here. Something I noticed. You know, I I look for evidence about the boat's condition and whether it was taken care of. There are two pair of earmuffs in there. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing that he was running it on land regularly. To me, that either means that he was, the previous owner was meticulously detailed in his maintenance, or he had a lot of problems with this thing and was always working on it. Or maybe something in between, I don't know. All right, we're gonna keep shoveling it out. And then we're gonna roll this bad boy up to the water hose and we're gonna give her a good bath. All right, we got the trees out. We're in six inches of filth and rotten junk. And dirty shoes. And dirty shoes. I mean, really. The glove box was locked, but we found the key, and we're about to open it for the first time. We're going to see some gold or treasure. Come on, Flash. Ouch. Oh, don't break it off in there. All right, he needs Dad's help. See, it's hard. I don't know if that's the right key. I already tried that one. You're right, I think it's this key. I think it's like blocked by a bunch of junk, I bet. Ugh. Oh, there must be something real good in here. Come on, baby. Not worth it. That's the face of disappointment right there. Poor kid. Get used to it. Life's rough. All right, back to work. All right. Here's the driver's seat. And Everything looks pretty to go solid. Yeah. Everything's there. Who knows what the heck this thing is? Like a speaker, a radar gun, what? strobe light. I don't know what that is. I don't see any worms. Where is he worms? If oh, this worm it. farm isn't the sign that this should be a fishing boat, I don't know what is. So we originally thought that it was under an oak tree this was parked and these were little oak trees growing up in here but upon further inspection this thing is full of these little dark red maroon seeds and that is not the leaf pattern of an oak so I don't know what that elderberry is elderberry a tree you're covered in dirt son I know mom's gonna be mad my shoes are covered nice it's actually cleaning up pretty nice. We found that uh, scrub brush and the pile of crap inside and all that thick layer of black stuff is scrubbing off. So that's what it looks like. And, you know, it ain't gonna be beautiful, but it'll be better. It'll be better. All right, so we Hashtag scrubbed her down. Ants. Hashtag ants. We, uh, we still have ant problems in the motor, but we scrubbed her all down on the outside. Hey, uh, it'll be all right. So we scrubbed it down. She looks good. Uh, the outside or the inside's kind of a lost cause when it's wet. So we made a spot under the carport to let it dry out, and we'll come back with a rake and vacuum and get the inside clean. Uh, so we did the motor check before we started cleaning. I sprayed some. Uh, I couldn't find fogging oil, so I used some of this sea foam spray. I saw somebody on YouTube say it works. So. I sprayed that in there thinking that in case it was <laughs> in case it was seized up we'd be all right Two so then we pulled fell. the we pulled the plug and i put it in forward or in drive 
And when I turn the prop, all cylinders move extremely freely. The flywheel, which I guess it's called a flywheel on an outboard. Uh, I don't know if you can outboard. see that. This motor is called an outboard. So we're definitely not seized up. The lower power unit works in forward and reverse. At least it operates as you would expect it to. So, I don't know. I think we could almost put fresh fuel in it. Why did put a fresh battery on it and fire it up. I'm going to let the seafoam sit in there a couple days maybe. I'll come back uh, next weekend and we'll put a fresh battery, fresh gas. And if anybody has a good idea for how to just skip bypass the fuel tank and put a little baby batch of fresh gas in here, that would be great. So. We've got a few days, let me know. Flash said, uh, or Flash had something he wanted to say. If, if you're subscribed, comment down below, hashtag Ant City, or Ants, doesn't matter. Hashtag Ants or Ant City. See, he's a YouTube pro. I never ask my subs to do anything because I'm just lame. But, but the kids these days, they know what to do. So this is the end of part one of Operation Woody. Next week we'll have part two.